Okay, Mark Gallo, I think the last time at Defender Champ, and this is with mods I'm adding now to change the kind of like options that you have on this amp to get some really cool tones. I'll follow this up with a last short video just demonstrating what they sound like. So this is a Fender Champ kit from Mojo Tone. If you watched my previous videos, you'll see about how I did some mods to not affect the tone at all, but just to improve the hum. This video is to show you how you can put a few mods in the amp that allow you to keep it original in stock. So you don't have to mess with the tone, but does add a couple of options so you can shift the tone into things that have a little bit more gain and also to just have a really cool breakup. So let me show you a couple things what I did here. So I've added two toggle switches next to the to the on off uh, uh, the volume knob. OK, I have a, a one way toggle here, which controls a negative feedback, whether it's in or out. And another three way switch where in the center position is stock. In one position puts a uh, 0.68 microfarad uh, bypass cap, and in the other position puts a 25 microfarad bypass cap in the cathode of the first tube, and that gives you more AC gain. And it, on, in this position, it gives you kind of like a bright switch. I guess it's like it's sort of like a range master kind of like high boost because it's only boosting high frequencies above, let's say, four or five hundred hertz, and uh, or somewhere around there. And down this position, you have a boost across all frequencies, basically down to like some very low frequency. And so you have this sort of like boost switch option. The cool part is that if you leave the feedback on and if you leave this switch in the center position, you are completely stock. You haven't really messed with anything. So let's quickly show what's going on. So the, uh, the feedback switch is one that simply uh, disconnects uh, this 22k resistor right here, which is normally in stocked in, in the Fender Champ. It adds negative feedback from the loudspeaker back to one of the tubes in order to um, give you a cleaner and, uh, and more accurate sound. But if you disable that, if you take that out, then you get a amp without negative feedback and you get some really cool breakup and some really cool extra gain in the amp, which is nice. So this is a great mod because if you leave it in the on position, then you're, you're uh, stock. But if you disconnect it, you get a, a really cool kind of like um, organic gain sort of sound. And then uh, the other boost switch that I talked about is one that runs a lead to uh, this uh, an, uh, first stage cathode resistor. And it allows you to selectively switch in and out. What I have down there is two sets of capacitors, a 0.68 microfarad uh, poly or a uh, 25 microfarad electrolytic, which you can't see. It's kind of tucked in the bottom there. Uh, and in the center position, it connects neither of them. So connecting neither of them leaves it stock, but allows you to basically put a full range boost or a high range boost into the amp. So yeah, so thanks for uh, listening to that description. I'll follow up with some tone examples to show you what that's like.